Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Now, in the last video, uh, we rebuilt this uh, absolutely amazing two carb V8 OHV engine. Um, I sound a bit weird today. Why do I sound weird? I don't know. Um, so today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fit the engine in here. We're gonna rebuild the whole car. We're gonna do all the interior stuff, and we're just gonna make it look super nice. Um, so, yep, let's get on. First of all, I want to start with a welder and the interior detailing kit. Um, just to make sure that we don't forget about it later. Uh, let's use that. And let's use that. And now, this is super shiny and super clean. Um, cool. Cool. Right, let's take... This engine looks amazing. Um, let's take that off of there. Uh, now we need the engine crate. What are you doing here? Let's get rid of you. I don't know why you're there. Probably done something at some point, trying to mess around. I think I put the custom gearbox back into it. Because I never put a custom gearbox in. And that's what we're going to do with this car as well. We're going to fit in a custom gearbox to make sure that we can tune the acceleration. And make sure it's not like, wow. Um, so we're going to... Uh, two carb OHV supercharged. Oh, that's looking good. Right, the only thing we um, need to do for it... Is we need to make sure that there's a bonnet that can go on it. <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Hey. Uh, but seriously, we need to make sure that we can actually fit everything in there. Um, let's just double check. Is there anything we can repair? Hopefully all of this can be repaired. Because I don't want to be buying it over and over again. Because I thought red parts couldn't be repaired, but apparently we've got parts that are red that can be repaired. Oh, and we got an achievement. Experience regenerator. Fix 500 car parts. Exclude body. Nice. Right, let's go on with the front suspension. Right, so we need a front sway bar B. Um, see, it's night time now in the UK, so um, what I've done, I've set up my uh, Xbox so that it changes to dark mode, so that it's not as blinding um, during, the, during the night time. So, if you're wondering why my colours change between videos, it's because some are recorded during the day, some are recorded at night. Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, so we need bushings. Uh, I want to buy 20 of them and 10 of these. Uh, we also need tie rods. And we need sway bar links. I think they are link bees. Yes, that looks right. There we go. Yes, they are link bees. That's good. Right, what is this? This is a double wishbone. So we need to get a uh, front double wishbones sorted out. Let's go grab them now. Um... Uh, 
There we go. That's that. And here's the other one. Um, I think the rest of it, the rears are leafs, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh, there's, there's the cursor. Trying to hide from me. No, no. Not at all. Um, so we need ventilated brake discs, brake drums, brake pads, uh, brake shoes, drum wheel cylinders. There we go. That should be good. Oh. And wheel bearings. There we go. Brake pads and brake calipers. Just got our rims to go on that side. Right, next side. Ta-da! Uh, axle covers. There we go. That's one. Did we not do the rubber bushings on this side? No, we didn't. Oh dear. At least we remember them now, and not later. Right, wheel hub into place. Ah, uh, hub bearings. And there we go. Okay, let's move to the rear suspension. Okay, so we need some rear shock absorbers. There we go, there's one in. And there's the other rubber bushing going in. Is there a car in this game that has both front and rear leaf springs? I don't know. There we go. There's another bush in. in. Right, that should be all of the bushings in. That's not a part that's going on the car.
Right, uh, rear knuckle housing B. There we go. Um, fuel tank. Okay, right, so we need a fuel tank now. Ah, uh, this is so laggy on, um, with all the DLCs. There's my fuel tank. Right, now what we need is the exhaust. So we need a... We need a... I can't read that. Front exhaust pipe VA OHV B. Middle muffler and rear OHV8. Uh, exhaust. I know we need them and the rear. That's it. Um, but where is that front exhaust pipe? That's probably going to have to be on here then. Yeah, there it is. Flip it round and we can take a look at the rear ones now. Ta-da! Right, next is our tyres. So, first of all, let's take a look at this. I cannot read a single thing on that screen. Give me a second. Two, three, five, sixty, sixteen. Uh, I am not going to remember that. So we need 60, 16, and then maximum. Um, which ones are we going for? I'm going to go for slick tie B. Uh, profile 60, and we're going to go for 315 width. Two three fifteen width and two two fifteen width. There we go. And then we get four rims. Um which ones do we pick? We can put Atlanta rims on. Can't really put Dodge Hellcat ones on. Um, yeah, let's go for the classic, uh, Atlanta. There we go. Right, so we're going to do the rear ones first. Um, make sure those are sorted out. Put 
like some fat slicks on the rears. There we go. Right, and then we install them. Right, uh, rear tyres. Some chunks on the back, those are. Ah, uh, they go into the arches a bit. It's not the end of the world. Take this last one. There we go. We are good to go. Um, let's move you back. No. There we go. And then move you to the entrance. Woo. That's nice. Right. Uh, so what we're going to do. Um, what car is this? Is this a Challenger or the Charger? I can't remember. This is the Charger. So what we're going to do, we're going to buy all of the Charger parts from the body shop. Uh, Charger. Right, that's all the charger, the stock charger parts, and then I'm going to see if we've got any uh, custom charger parts. We don't. I want to see how this... Okay, it's all right. Um, I thought it was going to look hideous. Ah, there we go. Uh, no, we don't want a license plate. There we go. Um, that is car completely built. Um, ah, no, it's not. No, it's not. Gearbox. So, what we're going to do, we're going to fit in the, um, performance clutch flywheel and that. And we're also, we also need a clutch bearing from here. And then what we need to do, we need to work out which gearbox we've got so that we can, um, get a custom version of it.
quite a big part that's missing. <laughs> Uh, release bearings. And it's just a normal OHV. So, let's go to the this one. Uh, we need to find a V8 OHV. V8 OHV. There we go. That is looking nice. Oh, and um, in the engine bay, we're missing a lot of parts. At least the gearbox is in place, though. Right, so we need a radiator C. And a battery. Battery. Radiator C. Where is radiator B though? That's what I don't get. Where has radiator B gone? Uh, right. Uh, now I think it's time to take this to the paint shop. Um, cool. Let's see uh, what uh, colors we actually have, like liveries. Um, so we've got black stripe, white stripe, um, you know what? That looks quite nice. I quite like the look of that. I'm going to stick with that like turquoisey cyan blue. I think that's what it is. Um, and then if we move this to the dyno. Uh, we have no starter on the engine, do we? Typical video, forgets the starter. Um, there we go. V8 starter motor. There we go. And we also need to put some oil in. Uh, here's the oil cap. There we go. Right, let's move you to the dyno now. And now it will go there. Right, let's see how much power we gained. We started with around about 500. I'm expecting at least 900. One thousand and sixteen. Fair enough.
Right, let's go and do a quick little bit of tuning. So what you can do, you can actually add, remove gears and also change the tuning, which is quite interesting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a fifth gear. Uh, make this Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add another one where its max speed is 380 just in case it can get higher. But I'm not expecting it to go above um, 300 kilometers an hour. Not at all. Right, um, hmm, come on, you can load, you can load, right, here we go. Okay, it's gone into the sixth gear. Fair enough. Um, that exceeded my expectations of 300 miles an hour, kilometers an hour, uh, which it came o definitely over 200 miles an hour. 346 is roughly about 210 miles an hour. So, um, yeah, that's a pretty powerful car. That's a lot of power, a lot of speed. And I have a feeling that the Charger is going to be even more. No, the Challenger. The Challenger is going to be even more powerful. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I shall see you next time. Bye. Been having these conversations There's something about you More than just undercovers